been a while since you've been on the couch. Yeah, it's been about a month. Been a, about a month? Okay, two. Dude, it's been since January. <laughs> I lose track of time. I was in college. <laughs> oh, God. Sup? Hey. Uh, in case you didn't notice. Yeah. We got them for free. I could have been at Disney World. Did you know? I could have been at Disney World for a whole fucking week with my family. But I decided to stay home because I needed money. Because I had to be responsible for once. <laughs> And, and and now it's making my dog cry. I'm a fucking idiot. Transformers Age of Extinction. Oh, where did we fucking begin? <laughs> well, let's just start with the story. Transformers are being hunted down by by the humans because we're fucking morons. And apparently we don't know the definition of fucking gratitude for having our sorry asses saved. More than one fucking occasion. I'll give it this. It's better than the first three. But not by much. I'm, I'm not even kidding. This is actually the one... Like, this movie didn't piss... Like, this movie didn't give me the level of pissed off that three did. But, oh boy... Uh, it's probably because I was dragging this movie th for months <laughs> that I just like that my level of hatred and anger just kind of died the moment <laughs> I started watching it. <laughs> All right, so basically, yeah, like I said, the, the Autobots are being hunted down by uh, Kelsey Grammer, who plays the stereotypical po paranoid government agent working for the obvious bad guys, and. And he's also working in conjunction with billionaire Stanley Tucci. Yes. Thank God he was actually likable. Of course, in any movie, Stanley Tucci is likable. You can't not like Stanley Tucci. You can't. Even when he plays a child molesting uh, serial killer, you can't. You can't. You can't hate him. It's like I'm just like, yeah, sure, I can hang out with this guy. And I, yeah. I'm like 15. I I can trust this guy. <laughs> I mean, think uh, about how many, how many 14, 15 year olds cross, cross him when he went, to, when he was uh, Hunger Games. True. I was talking more of the lovely bones, True, but, but whatever. <laughs> regardless. Uh, but yeah, uh, so Optimus Prime's found by Marky, uh, Mark Wahlberg and uh, TJ Miller, uh, and Mark Wahlberg finds out he's a Transformer. Uh, government shows up to kill Optimus Prime. Uh, Mark Wahlberg and his daughter, oh, we'll get to her in a minute, um, are on the run and deemed fugitives because the this black ops, this obvious, obvious modern Call of Duty modern <laughs> warfare, oh my god, a real fucking subtle bay with with the showing showing one of your. One of your fucking soldiers having a uh, a, a a mask shaped like a skull, real fucking subtle. It's like all you need to do left is make it first person. Jesus Christ! But yeah, Mark Wahlberg uh, and his daughter and this and and this other dude and the boyfriend are on the run from the government because they're fucking psychopaths. And di and I'm gonna say it right now they are domestic terrorists. Hmm. You, I don't no no these guys are fucking. They I mean, they're obviously meant to be um, par an obvious metaphor for uh, what what were they called Blackwater? I the, think so. the the black that uh, yeah the the Blackwater uh, group that that was uh, sent that were uh, like they're nothing but fucking mercenaries. That's what they basically are. Government mercenaries. Yes, they're they're fucking yeah they're fucking government mercenaries. Kelsey Grammer's in charge of them, and wait, what was the name of them? C Cemetery Wind. Yeah. I think what so. the fuck? What kind of fucking name is that? 
Blackwater sound, it sounds more threatening than that. I just, I can't, I mean, well, they're playing, well, they are playing up the whole kids cartoon. <laughs> Fuck. Um, <sighs> God, Jesus. Uh, yeah, so Optimus Prime and, and Mark Wahlberg and his daughter and her boyfriend uh, are on the run. And as I mentioned, T.J. Miller's in the movie for 20 minutes. Yeah. Then he's unceremoniously killed off. Uh, I guess because he sold the Autobots out. But you know what? He, I still feel bad for him. The way he, was, he died, holy shit, that was dark. Because and, and plus, he was decently funny. He was he was funny. Him and Mark Wahlberg had great chemistry. Yes. Fuck, make it just about them. Make it kind of like a buddy cop movie between those two working with the Autobots. <laughs> Fuck, I would pro I'd probably give this movie a higher rating. Jesus Christ, they they had good chemistry. Um. But yeah, um, this movie, yeah, like I said, this movie is better than the other ones, but it's it's still shit. Yeah. There are so many fucking problems. I'm gonna rip it a new uh, asshole. Um, wh uh, what other problems should we talk? Oh, what's the next problem we should talk about? Huh. Well, the more obvious one, product placement. <sighs> All right. I said in my previous reviews that. The biggest problem I've always had with Bay's style of directing was how obvious, how obviously shot like a commercial it is. It's not as apparent in this one, surprisingly, no. but he makes up for it by actually throwing in product placement and lingering on that product. I am not. Miller what? Just, <laughs> it was Bud Light. Bud Light, Miller Light, whatever. All I it, it still tastes like piss. Jesus Christ, I have better taste than, than that shit. Although, I did like how Mark... Well, still, it was still shameless product placement having Mark Wahlberg drink that shit. Come on, you're from Boston. You can drink better shit than that. Oh, yeah, yeah, and by... The, yeah, sorry, Mark Wahlberg. You can't... I. You can't sell to me that you're from fucking Texas. Sorry. Not gonna happen. Your brother is more believable as a New York cop than than you are a fucking Texan. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? No. So, oh yeah. Oh well, yeah. He he still can't play shocking very well, can he? <laughs> well, he was much a hundred times better than uh, Shia LaBeouf. He was the most like. Yeah. He. Why they didn't? Why they couldn't get Mark Wahlberg to be in the first movies is beyond me. Because he is the best. He's a fucking step up in this Ugh. movie, uh, and then uh, Shiloh fucking buff. Just and plus his the, and plus his relationship with his daughter is somewhat relatable. It is, and more. But the problem than Shia is, is <sighs> well, in the first movie at least. Yeah, but yeah, but. Shia LaBeouf was un just unlikable. He was loud. He was obnoxious. He was he was fucking hateful to everybody. He was fucking hateful to, hateful to Bumblebee. I'm glad he ditched Bumblebee. Finally ditched his sorry ass. Back on topic. Huh? Back on topic. No, no we we are on topic. We're talking about shit. We're talking about a shitty movie. But um, uh, fuck this. Um, oh God, just but yeah. Um. Yeah, let's yeah let's go ahead and talk about the fucking daughter. Ugh. Yeah, Nicola Peltz, A.K.A. Katara from the Last Airbender movie. Oh god, are you fucking serious? Yes. God damn! No, fuck! No wonder I wanted to punch her in the fucking <laughs> vagina. Jesus Christ! Oh god! I, she, I mean. Yeah, my sister ain't gonna even watch this, but my sister is is a better is fuck. I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> I'm not even fucking gonna go there. Uh, this, but yeah, this hat is a much better actor actress. Yes. Than Nicola Peltz. Yes. Yes, it is. God damn it. Uh, just her. Not just that, but her character is so. This, she, she's the Shia LaBeouf replacement. Yes. She, oh my god. Screaming. <laughs> Screaming. Yeah. Um, just being a total 
bitch to her father, who, honestly, yeah, he's, yeah, they're down on their luck, and, yeah. and, but, and he's, and he's kind of a failure, but he's basically doing everything he can to raise his daughter on his own, with his wife, especially when his wife dies of mysterious causes, like, they never explain, yeah, she, she's the stereotypical mom, Disney, never seen Disney mom parents. who, what? Stereotypical Disney parents. Yes, exactly. The Disney mom. That's basically what she is. But, yeah, and, and uh, okay, yeah, sure. He's also the stereotypical dad that doesn't want his daughter to date anybody, but there's a good reason. There's a fucking good yeah. reason. Like, because he, he was a, he was a, his, he, it, her, she was a teenage pregnancy. Yeah. So, but, and, and while, yeah, she thinks she was a mistake, he never thought that. He, I mean, he tried to defend himself saying, look, I never thought you thought of you that way, but I do want you to not date so you can be, so you won't ma end up making the same choices that I made. Right. And she doesn't fucking listen. Throughout the majority of this fucking movie, she doesn't listen. She hardly acknowledges the fact that he's the one going after her. Instead of going to her fucking boyfriend, who's the other half of a Shia LaBeouf character that you don't like. It's just, oh my god, just... I mean, and what, what's his fucking name in real life? Uh, Jack Rayner? I have no he, idea. He plays Shane like this Irish... You can barely hear his Irish accent. I'm sorry. But... He is so fucking unlikable. He's, I mean, I, and again, he's the stereotypical boy for meeting the dad for the first time, especially when the dad is Mark fucking Wahlberg, who will shoot your ass. Not even, hey, oh my god, I was like rooting for Mark, I was really hoping Mark Wahlberg would shoot him. Or at least punch him in the face. Yes! Oh god, I would have loved that so much. He, he, he fucking would have deserved it. Oh my god. Um, the some of the other characters were completely fucking useless or yeah. unnecessary. Like um, the Chinese, uh, well, the Chinese girl was, it was not she wasn't horrible, but again, you could have taken her out. True. Uh, although, although compared to her and the British chick, I would have yeah. let the British chick out more. I really yeah. would. Yeah. I mean, you could take either one out, and it would have been. Fun. It wouldn't have made a difference. It really wouldn't. I mean, this movie still has a bunch of, of, still has the problems of having characters in these movies for no fucking reason, none, and they're and they're annoying. I mean, granted, those two weren't as annoying as the as the daughter or the boyfriend, but they were still fucking annoying. But they weren't fucking necessary. Some of the shit in this movie wasn't uh, wasn't necessary, but I was I'll give it this. It didn't. It wasn't padded out. Oh no! It it didn't feel. I mean, it's the longest movie, but it didn't. To date, yes. Yeah, to date, but it didn't. It didn't feel like it was padded out with needless bullshit. I mean, there was still some needless oh. bullshit, but not as much as all the other ones. No, yeah, not as not. We didn't have any fucking annoying parents on campus uh, like eating pop brownies, and we didn't have them in the first movie talking about masturbating. Or or dogs fucking oh Ugh. my god but yeah um but let's go ahead uh, let's go ahead and talk about Transformers. Transformers Optimus Prime's a fucking badass well you can't get wrong with Peter Cullen no you can't but oh my god he's fucking like like in my last review I said Optimus Prime uh, was fucking just a fucking monster or um a, yeah a fucking monster in three just brutally killing. All kinds of fucking Decepticons. Here he just he killed a guy. He killed a person. He actually he killed several people. Well, considering that humans hunted him down. <laughs> yeah, and... I get I get that. I fucking get that. But holy fuck, he is he is fucking brutal throughout the entire fucking movie. And you know what? It's all our fault. Apparently, we do not know how to the definition of fucking gratitude, because we are hunting the the Autobots, or the government is hunting down the Autobots. And Kelsey Grammer is saying, "There's no such thing as a good robot or a bad ro a good alien, bad alien. 
There's Unless us or them. I'm like, apparently there is such thing as a good alien or a bad alien, because we're seeing it right fucking now. I mean, how the fuck did this guy get a high gover high paying government job? It's very evident he has some psychological issues. Lying. I'm sorry, he's not that good of a liar. You still could have tell. You still could have tell. He has some fucking psychological issues. Connor is a better liar than he than Kelsey Grammer was in this fucking movie. Well, granted, a lot of people up in Washington has psychological issues. So we'll get that's another story. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, it's. But I like Bu Bumblebee wasn't as an. Ab Excuse me. As, wasn't as aggravating mm -hmm. as he was in the others with the with the radio thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It just it wasn't as bad. Uh, there were moments but, where I actually thought he was actually talking for once. Yeah. But uh, but when I found it, we realized it was just the radio again. Whatever. But it, then again, it was it kind of it kind of fits some fits in some of the scenes. Yeah. It, like, it, it, Bumblebee was actually kind of funny. And yeah. of course, it was still padded bullshit, but again, it wasn't as prolonged as the, as the rest of the fucking movie. Um, the other Autobots, on the other hand... Which include voice cast like, from... Kim, Kim Watanabe, Watanabe, John DiMaggio, DiMaggio, and John fucking Good. I have never wanted to, wanted to punch a fat person in my life. Then I wanted to to uh, John Goodman, and I like John Goodman, but oh my, they must have paid him a shit ton of money to just just pull lines out of his ass, because that's all he did in this fucking movie. You could have taken half of that shit out, and would have made a fucking difference. Granted, I want to see an Autobot voice by Bruce Campbell. And That'd give him nice. shit to do. And give him a chain give him a chainsaw and a boost <laughs> It's like <laughs> groovy. Like I would pay and plus I would pay good money to see that. Me too. And plus he's a master of one liners. <laughs> I'd be fucking fine with that. Yeah. I would be been perfectly fine with yeah. Alright, here's the fucking problem I have with the new Transformers that isn't Optimus Prime or Bumblebee. They look they're fucking terrifying. They are fucking I mean Holy shit, they look terrifying. They, I mean, they look more human in this movie now, but don't ever do close-ups of them because they're shitty looking. They're goddamn horrible. The reason why I can tolerate Optimus Prime's face is because it, it's the least human looking. But... You can or Kim, Oh god, oh. Ken Watanabe was fright was fright was the most frightening. Like, yeah, can, if, especially close up. Yeah. Yes. It's like but, why make him a fucking samurai? Really? I mean, it is Ken Watanabe. I know. It's still, that's kind of that's just racial stereotyping. I mean, this movie still has problems with uh, racial stereotypes. So that's that's Michael Bay. I mean, shit. Predator Two has racial stereotypes, and but they do it right. This movie doesn't. Well, even Mel Brooks does it right. <laughs> he he does not. He does he does put he does portrayals of Nazis right. <laughs> and that's and that's saying something. Um, Let's go to Decepticons. What fucking Decepticons were there? Galvatron. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Galvatron was in this movie. I I didn't notice. You didn't notice Frank Welker. Being a fucking smart ass. <laughs> Galvatron is in this movie for like two minutes. I'm not even fucking kidding. Again, you could have taken him out or left him <clears throat> or left his appearance or left the movie on a cliffhanger of his appearance and well, it or, would not have made a fucking difference. Or have him be the mastermind of the whole thing. Yeah, well, I mean, again, that would have been fine, but there, but you can't just put show Galvatron in this movie and not make him the main villain. And granted, he had a... And granted, Optimus Prime and Galvatron had a better fight than him and Megatron in 3. It lasted longer. Yeah, it was... It la well, it lasted a good solid 30 seconds. <laughs> I mean... I mean, how, how many how how long did it last? Uh, last uh, their fi their final battle in three ten, ten seconds. seconds? Yeah. Okay, yeah, ten fucking seconds in three. Only <laughs> next movie will get a whole solid minute. <laughs> I'll, I'll 
mostly give it this. The final fight wasn't nearly as bad. Or no. wasn't nearly as long as three. Oh, three no. got just really insufferable. The whole the whole last hour was pretty much the battle. Yeah, and here it was like what, the last thirty minutes yeah. at least. Yeah, it because it was what, like you said it was twelve you checked your wa your phone and you, and you said it was almost twelve thirty. It was you, you said it was almost twelve thirty. Were they still in uh in, in Michigan at that time? I think so. Okay. Alright. Also, where the fuck? How the fuck did Optimus get uh, jetpacks? When did? When the fuck did it get those upgrades? How? They didn't. They never fucking mentioned. Where were those in the other movies? Well, he did have the jetpack in three. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it was, that was Jetfire. It was like, it was fucking whatever. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The big, the big reveal about the origins of the uh, of the Autobots and half of and half of the universe's creations is that we were created by alien, or the Autobots were created by aliens, and apparently we were too. I don't know. They no, don't okay. fucking explain it. Again, you could have taken that out. You could have fucking taken. It could have just been an army of fucking Decepticons again. It wouldn't have made a fucking difference. But we don't get. I mean. They show they show like a hand of an alien, like a, a bio organic alien hand in the beginning of the movie where they wipe out the entire dinosaurs. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Well, except for one, like the cute little baby dinosaur that survived. You can't kill Dino. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Flintstones? Well, that would just mean the Flintstones were extinct. Went extinct too. Modern come afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Oh god, this the special movie. effects were actually pretty good. Yeah. Oh wow, we are <laughs> we went past twenty minutes. Alright. <laughs> special effect god no. Special effects were bad. Special effects were pretty bad. No, I'll tell you what was really bad. The um uh, the green screen. When they were yeah. in the car you noticed that too? Yeah. I thought it was just me. Oh my god. It's like, what the fuck? Like, the other movies didn't need green screen to talk in the back of a car. <laughs> there was no point. Oh my. The green screen in Big Bang Theory is better than this. I could actually tell where the green green screen was in the outline. Granted, could you not uh, just put a digital digital photograph in the background, like huge one, just have them be singing it? Like, or just running? shoot the damn <laughs> yeah. thing in, the, in a car. Yeah. We don't need... Oh my god, this movie was shit. Oh god, I want to shoot myself so bad right now. Uh, is there anything else we need to talk about? Because I'm probably going to stay up all night and watch more camera. Predator. Huh? The camera work. The editing was fucking terrible. Yeah. The opening scene was horrible. Uh, like I didn't know what the fuck was go was like going the, on because it didn't last no more than like fifty seconds each. Like, like it goes from the destruction of the dinosaurs and then it cuts to Antarctica. I'm like, what, what the fuck? Like, what's happening? I was like, we. I have no idea what the fuck is going on because they didn't. They it didn't last no more than fifty seconds and explain shit. It didn't do a goddamn thing. Um. The script. Oh, the story wasn't it. Well, at the least there was a simple writing of plot. Yeah. I mean, Aaron Kruger's still a shit writer, yeah. but it's it's not nearly as bad. Like I said, this is better than the, than the other ones, but not by much. Um. Any. Anything else? Cause I'm fucking tired. I want to watch more Predator. Yeah, I can't really think of too much. I gotta get the shit on. Uh, what? But yeah, some of those scenes were. Well, that one. While we're finding that one government agent. Is it was that was that, okay? That was okay, but again, there was fucking bad green screen. I know. True. There was really bad green screen. Yeah. I, oh yeah, Titus Welliver. Oh man, poor Titus. <sighs> Poor Titus Wallover. He deserves better. Like, like, like surviving agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, Marky Mark deserved better. 
Well, he at least carried the movie. Like I said, yeah, he's he's the best thing in this. He was the best thing in this. Well, movie. at least. Oh, and one more thing. What? Michael Bay does get one more point. What? Give me a shout out to us, Bronies. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Stanley Tucci has a mineral called they call Transformium, and which is what it's, the it's basically yeah, it's basically what the Transformers are made out of. And, um, and they uh, use it. They, they they use it to create whatever they want, whether it be like a harmless toy or a gun. Um, they like Stanley Tucci calls his head scientist to talk to him, and like as he's answering, he's holding a fucking plushie. my plushie up from My Little Pony. It was Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash, yeah. And then it transforms into a gun. Granted, it is Hasbro, so... It is Hasbro, but... God damn it, that was so... That, I don't... I don't think that was a shout-out. I don't even think Michael Bay knows what fucking bronies are. I think that was just... I think that was Hasbro. just Hasbro just saying, Hey, throw this in there. It's like, why? Um... Hasbro. More money for you? It's like, okay. I, Granted, they could have probably done the same thing with G.I. Joe, but... <laughs> Well, well, it wouldn't have been out of place. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, That's pretty much it. I think so. This was a long. This was a long movie, but yeah, it didn't keep me on the edge of my seat. But oh yeah, yeah, the guy in front of us. Did you notice that guy? The one with the hat. Like yeah. he jumped at everything. Uh. Like the. Uh, um, <gasps> yeah, yes! Like, during, okay, alright, alright, all right. we're not going to trailers just yet, but during the, uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes trailer, yeah. like, when, when, uh, when Scarred Up ate a ch chimpanzee, yeah. like, it's like playing with the gun, just swinging it around, then all of a sudden he shoots one guy, I just saw this, like, oh shit! And it's just like, and then really? And the same thing to the other guy. Huh? And it does the same thing to the other guy. Yeah, but he didn't jump at that. He didn't, he didn't jump at that, but then he jumped again when Optimus Prime bursted out of the floor of the barn. Yeah. He was like, oh shit! It was like, wow. It's like, hey, uh, this is your boyfriend, right? Um, do you, are you sure you want a guy like that who jumps over the simplest shit? Because I don't. <laughs> and granted, even I didn't jump at it. Pretty much ain't nothing in this movie. It's like fuck. I'm mean, hell. Come on, girl. We can we can pyramid your ass. Like, it's like you don't need him. <laughs> oh god, I am. It's like final score. Four out of five. Uh, Mark Mark Wahlberg is the best thing in this movie. Four out Optimus five. Prime is a fucking badass. Four out of five. Or <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Scratch that. Uh, scratch that. Four out of ten. My bad. Thank you. <laughs> I am fucking tired, okay? I'm fucking tired. Yeah, four out of ten. Thank you. I'm sorry, because la last, <laughs> when, <laughs> because when Heather and I reviewed the other woman, I accidentally gave it a four out of five. <laughs> and she did the same thing. Wow. That was been one great movie you must, rec must recommend to everyone. Well, our, well, the girls next to us and... And that, sitting next to us were actually pretty funny. <laughs> we're fun well, they were funnier than the movie. Well, I give I give Transformers: Age of Extinction four and a half out of ten. I'm not putting a fucking decimal point. That that's Brian's thing, or oh, that's Byron's thing. God. Well, I don't think it deserves a five or a four. So, and yet there's still a fucking four in there. But it's not. But it's not exact four stuff. So. <laughs> yeah, there's a yeah. Four, four and a four half. And a half. All right. Um, on the trailers, God, I think it's gonna end up cutting out a few things that we ranted. <laughs> what was it we ranted before the two, the beginning of that two minute mark? I don't know. All right. All righty. Uh, first, we got a new trailer for The Giver. We, n I never read the book. Neither have I. You didn't. Okay. But, I mean, it's got you. It looks. Is... It, yeah, in in Meryl Streep. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh my god, that looks amazing. I mean, it kind of has I'm... some sort of vibes to a yeah. sort of equilibrium. Yeah. Well, I mean, I well, it's I mean, similar. I knew it was recommended reading back in an elementary school. I just never did it. I just yeah. never read it. Um, Dracula Untold, <laughs> where the 
uh, the trailer that shows the title twice. Starring Luke... Honestly, Luke Evans as Dracula is not a bad choice. No. I mean, and, uh, well, I mean, and, and when he was cast as, uh, in, ever since he was announced as uh, Eric Draven for the Crow remake, I was like, okay, yeah. not bad. I still, I would have, I would have picked a martial artist for it, just like Brandon Lee, but whatever. Yeah, let's revive what I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you leave him alone. I know. <laughs> but, what? Yeah. You know what this is? This is Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. <laughs> that's what this is. I mean, that's that's kind of the vibe I was yeah. getting at, but it's mixed in with an obviously Underworld. You know what? Yeah. If the movie can be as bit of a guilty pleasure as I Frankenstein was, <laughs> I am perfectly fine with that. Uh, um, at least it's not Twilight shit. Uh, uh, we got in, we got a new trailer for Into the Storm. The yeah. I am confused. Like, the first trailer was like a big, huge fucking teaser. But I, and all I knew was like fucking tornadoes happened. Yeah. I still don't know what the fuck is going on in this trailer. Like, it doesn't explain shit. I don't even know if it's a fucking found footage movie. Because it cuts from being found footage to what I assume is a regular movie. Yeah. And then it cuts to found footage again. I don't, I don't fucking get it. Yeah, but granted, that can, could be done depending on how they should do it. I mean, I don't. I mean, what it needs is Bill Paxton and uh, and Philip Seymour Hoffman. Rest in peace. It it needs it needs Dusty. And That's Car- what it needs. Let's not forget Carrie Elwes. Oh fuck, Carrie Elwes would have <laughs> no. Nah, Carrie Elwes would have been on the, one of those planes when it when it fell back to the ground. Uh, we got uh, we got a trailer for uh, the Equalizer. Yeah. Um, I, I know it was a show mostly because I, honestly I didn't know this show ever existed until I saw Wolf of Wall Street earlier this year <laughs> I'm like what kind of fucking show is this and then I find out it was real I'm like really wow <laughs> and the Equalizer starring Denzel Washington yes. and their director of training day you know and you know what? Uh, I thought Sabotage was okay, even though it was written by Skip Woods. Ugh. But at least, uh, at least it was it was doctored up by uh, David Ayer. Yeah. So I'm perfectly fine with that. Um. Wait. No, he wrote Training Day. David Ayer wrote Training Day. Uh, yeah, I think so. He didn't direct it. No. But uh, either way. I'll look it up. Yeah. Um. It's been a while. Um. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Same trailer. <laughs> yeah, the what? Yeah, the well, no, no. This is the newest one. Oh, the newest one. Yeah, this is new. Yeah, this. God damn, this movie just. Oh yeah. This, this, this is what got me excited. Uh, and again, yeah, the dude in front of us jumped. Ugh, yeah. We... It's like, oh shit. <laughs> uh, um, uh, Hercules, starring yes. Dwayne Johnson, and John Hurt. Yes, surprise! And in in this and this one is the one that has Ian McShane, and and it's gonna stay a lot truer to them. I myth. doubt it, really. But based on what I've seen, it, I mean, it had the it's well, I mean, products. well, compared to Legend of Hercules, it's gonna be oh, it's yeah. gonna yeah. All right, I mean, Dwayne John Dwayne Johnson's not a great actor. But he's a lot better than Kellen Lutz, and he's more charismatic. Yeah, he he has charisma. Like when he first started out, he had no charisma. Even when I saw him in The Mummy Returns, I was like, "Well, granted, bad." I was like, uh, I was like eleven or twelve, yeah. and even then, I thought he was a shitty actor. Even in Scorpion King, I'm like, wow, you have no charisma. Was so fucking ever. Mm. And then I, uh, excuse me. Uh, but then, but he's gotten better. He's yeah. gotten a hell of a lot better. And you know what? I can watch a movie with him in it. Huh. Um. And last but not least. Yeah. Uh, teenage fucking Mutant, Bay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The second uh, trailer. I, we saw the trailer before online, and I'll say it. It looks better. Um. Why wasn't it the first trailer? We'll never. Yeah. Know. Really. Why the fuck? Would, yeah, that's what pissed me off when I saw the trailer the second time. So why wasn't this fucking thing shown before? Uh, and he, granted, I granted Christopher Walken is gonna be in the movie. That's that was that was Christopher Walken. I know that was William Fickner. Well, I'm pretty sure it was Christopher Walken. It looked like Christopher Walken. That was William Fickner. Talk uh, 
Wait, are you talking about the big bald guy, or are you talking about, are you talking about uh, the guy that was a, that was said to be Shredder? I, th- I have no idea. That was William, that's William, that's the bank manager from uh, Dark Knight, dude. Ugh. That's William Fickner. <laughs> it's like, dude, if that was Christopher Walken, boy, has he aged well. <laughs> or he is taking some anti-aging cream, and I want to know where the fuck I can find some. Granted, <laughs> granted, him, he can still dance, like so he can. But yeah, oh my god. But whatever. Tur- God, the trailers look scary as hell. The one, I mean, okay, granted, yes, trailers do tend to mix lines in with uh, scenes that don't match the lead movement. But I think some of those lines are were supposed to be in the respective scenes, and it just doesn't match the lead movement at all. Of course, then again, here's why: they replaced uh, Johnny Knoxville. Or uh, they replaced what's his name with Johnny Knoxville. Yeah. That's why it doesn't match the lip movements. That's fucking why. Oh my god, this fucking movie. Megan, Fox and and yes, and no, painful. no. It turns out William Fickner is not Shredder. They actually showed what we believe to be the real Orokusaki, and. Oh god, Shredder looks terrible in this. Uh, yeah. Like, like he, he looks like a fucking Transformer in this too. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a mechanized suit of armor, like, and I, I mean, like, yeah. like Silver Samurai from the Wolverine. That I'm really, Granted, I'm this, half expecting that. Rich is adding the transforming sound effect from the original cartoon, like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. God, this movie. Uh, Ninja Turtle. Um, and of course, Megan Fox still can't deliver a line with Ugh. shit. Um, and poor Whoopi Goldberg Ugh. being dragged in this. It just why she's in it, I'll never know. I'm look. I'm still not looking forward to, it, but I will say the trailer was better. But here's why I think. Well, for one thing, for one thing. The jab about the the inside joke on the whole alien thing. Yeah. Fuck you, first of all. Yeah. Um, because uh, you started that shit. You started that yourself. So don't don't be throwing that shit at us. You because you fucker started it. Um. Second, I and this in right now this is just speculation among people who will saw the trailer. Uh, and I'm inclined to agree with this, is that they did that William Fickner was going to be Shredder. Yeah. But because of the huge, huge fucking backlash, they decide they had they uh, decided to add Orokusaki into this uh, by making him uh, during the reshoots. There were reshoots going on. Yeah. And that's what I think they did with this is. Uh, I'm fucking. I'm going to bed after this, <laughs> probably. Um, but yeah, just the um, yeah, the I think they just added a Rokusaki right. scenes in there, uh, just to please fans. Five bucks says he's not even in it that long. Probably as long as a uh, Galvatron was in this movie. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and. William Fick, this is what I think. William Fickner is going to be Baxter Stockman now, and what's going to happen is they're going to ADR his name into the lip syncing. Yeah. Because they don't want to bother with actually reshooting the whole thing. Well, that's it. <sighs> Luckily, it won't be the last movie before I before I leave for ETSC. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah, that's it. Um. What's out next week? Um. Do you remember? Wasn't. No. Isn't that Melissa McCarthy movie on next week? I have no idea. Hang on. And, uh, oh, okay, yeah. And so, yeah, that's it. Um, next week, I'll we'll have uh, Deliver Us From Evil, Earth to Echo, and Tammy. I'm trying to see. Uh, Fourth of July. Now, there's no... Yeah, there's nothing else Yeah. out. And granted, I don't, I don't know... Granted, probably no. Not a lot of people would go into the movies anyway because Fourth of July. Fourth of July. 
Well, I'm still I'm still seeing it deliver us from evil, and I am not an Eric Bana fan. Ugh. But I'm still gonna go see it because it looks scary as shit. Plus, but Olivia hey, Moon's boobies. But hey, Eric Bana's a good actor. Uh, July 10th is the Rip Tracks live for Sharknado. I'm yeah. well, I'm gonna go see that. I can't. I'm gonna be on vacation with family. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> you should have gone on your uh, this week. <laughs> I know. Just shut the fuck up. Fuck you. Uh, yeah, and the week after that is Dawn the Planet of the Apes. Again, he's going to be gone. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be me on my own. Uh, the Fluffy movie. Uh, fuck, I'm going to miss that. Um, the Fluffy movie? Gabriel Iglesias. Oh. I got I got the trailer attached to Haunted House, too. That was the only oh. fucking reason why that movie... That trailer was attached to that movie. Um... See, after that, I got... I got three movies. Let's not forget it. After you. that. Let's not forget Monty Python. Yes, thank you. Thank you, yes. Uh, Monty Python Live, mostly. Yes. Um, yeah, that, we'll have to see that. That is officially going to be awesome. Yes, uh, but before that, we got Planes, Fire, and Rescue. I'm definitely not going <laughs> to Fuck you. Uh, sex Tape, which I'll... Try and get Heather to go with me to see. And, let, I'm and then we'll make a sex tape. <laughs> and I'm wondering what, what what movie Planes 2 is going to rip off. Like It's the, called Fire and Rescue. Think of something. Uh, and then um, we got Purge, The Purge Anarchy. But I'm just considering... Which, looks so, which look, actually, actually looks really good. Yeah, but I'm considering that since Cars 1 ripped off oh, Josh shit. Hollywood. Oh, shit. July 22nd, Glenn Beck's We Will Not Conform is coming out. Yeah! I agree with Bye. that he shouldn't conform, but...